Hey, Luke here with Average Optimized, along with my co-host, Madeline, Sleepy Maddie. And this week's book is The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Quick intro. The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod is a shorter book, weighing in at 170 pages paperback and about five hours audio. It is advertised on Amazon as follows. Hal Elrod is a genius and his book The Miracle Morning has been magical in my life. What Hal has done is taken the best practices developed over centuries of human consciousness development and condensed the best of the best into a daily morning ritual. A ritual that is now part of my day, says Robert Kiyosaki the number one best-selling author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is another great book. Uh, what's being widely regarded as one of the most life-changing books ever written may be the simplest approach to achieving everything you've ever wanted and faster than you ever thought possible. Yeah, she knows what she's talking about. And what if you could wake up tomorrow and any or every area of your life was beginning to transform? What would you change? The Miracle Morning is already transforming the lives of tens of thousands of people around the world by showing them how to wake up each day with more energy, motivation, and focus to take your life to the next level. It's been right here in front of us all along, but this book has finally brought it to life. Are you ready? The next chapter of your life, the most extraordinary life you've ever imagined, is about to begin. It's time to wake up to your full potential. And that's how Amazon advertises it. But, all right, so what three things can we get from this book? Number one, morning routine. This is from the book. Productive, focused, successful mornings create productive, focused, and successful days, which lead to a productive, focused, and successful life. It all starts with your mornings. The morning is the rudder of the day, as he says in the book. Most of us have a hard time getting up in the morning. There's no way this will work for us even if we are serious about trying to have better mornings. Well, that's okay because Yo Pal Hal, which he calls himself in the book, has put together what he calls the five-step snooze-proof wake-up strategy for snoozeaholics. The five steps are as follows. Set your intentions before bed. It is shown that you have the same kind of thoughts when you wake up as when you go to bed. I had these numbered and the numbers have gone away. Great. Two, move your alarm clock across the room. I actually laughed out loud when I heard this one but you can't say that that isn't effective. Three, brush your teeth and use antiseptic mouthwash to sting your mouth awake. You can also splash water in your face. Four, drink a full glass of water to avoid fatigue caused by dehydration. Five, get dressed or jump in the shower. Give yourself that sense of starting the day. Hope these tips help you in your mission to wake up like a kid again with your eyes shooting open and being ready for the day. Number two, it's about you. A routine, what this book helped me put into words. People are afraid of the idea of a routine, the monotony and the scenes of dead-eyed zombies going through the motions. But a daily routine isn't just about doing the same chores consecutively. It's much bigger than that. It's the time that you are willing to spend every day on yourself, to push you and your physical and emotional and intellectual bounds and constraints out further. It's about sustaining your visions and goals and improving yourself and preparing yourself for better opportunities. It's a daily investment in your future. And this here is from the book. Where you are is from who you were. Where you go is from who you will be. Who you are looking to become will always determine the quality and direction of your life. Jim Rohn agrees, saying, 
Your level of success will match your level of personal development. So, hopefully this is enough for you to take action, pick what you would like to improve on, and pick a direction for yourself. And design your mornings to better facilitate these goals. 3. Visualization Persistent visualization is the best way to keep yourself centered around a goal. Right? Think about who you want to be and where you want to be. See, feel, hear, smell, and touch your vision. Make it real. Create something to represent your vision, such as a drawing of yourself completing your goal or enjoying the process through the journey towards your goal. The two pieces of visualization are the end goal and the journey. Throughout your visualization process, you focus on the feelings both during and at the end of your journey in your head. Use a vision board or a drawing or some sort of visual representation. Make sure that looking at it and visualizing your processes are part of your morning. A good positive that comes along with this is that it helps you to stay on track and remember what you are doing this for when your routine building is tough and in the early stages. Don't think that you need to nail it and get your vision perfect on the first try either. That never happens. Your vision can always be changing. It is solely there to give you direction. Align it to your goals and as your goals change, realign it. Hal Elrod did a great job with this book, in my opinion. He also has tons of resources for people who have read the book but still want more, which he plugs three times in each chapter but it's all located at www.miraclemorning.com and just a few honorable mentions here that I had to mention do your morning routines on the weekends too you'll find it's much easier to make the habits if you repeat them daily plus if you get a lot out of it there's no reason not to do it on the weekends I do my routine daily and even on vacation you should also strive to keep your routine fresh and mix it up it says somewhere in the book that when it gets there to ask yourself whose fault is it that it's boring so switch it up when you need to it's only a habit when you miss it think about brushing your teeth you would never leave the house if you didn't brush your teeth now imagine the feeling you would have if you didn't do it it would be something missing I hope you enjoyed this review I have the book linked up below if you'd like to go and read it or listen to it yourself and an audible free trial down there if you want to get the book for free and don't have audible yet. Uh, thank you for reading and watching and we'll see you next week.